Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. Today we're going to take a look at my thrift store haul from May of 2016. Everything you see in this video was purchased at a thrift store, unless I say otherwise. And everything costs either one dollar or usually less. Let's start out today with books and magazines. Check it out, an original 1988 Nickelodeon Double Dare game book. Try talking your mom and dad into letting this happen in your house, though. I also picked up the lurid heroine diaries by Nikki Six of Motley Crue, and I got some more of these early 60s how and why books, Railroads and Primitive Man. I love how some of the information seems so out of date. I got a couple of Garfield books, Furry Tales, and Garfield Weighs His Options, which was already his 49th book. Another one of these vintage yes and no invisible ink books, and this awesome 1990 Nintendo Worlds of Power Metal Gear novelization. And I picked up this 80s Grimjack comic book and this Brazilian Digest comic, Almanac da Magali. Too bad I don't understand Portuguese. Check it out, I found a 1994 Cracked magazine with Mortal Kombat on the cover. Here's a few more vintage video game, music, and computer magazines that I did not get at the thrift store. I got them at the used bookstore, 40 cents each. 1993 issue of Sega Visions. Zombies Ate My Neighbors, I love that game. Two 1983 issues of Trouser Press, featuring interviews with Eddie Grant and Madness, all dressed up as Santa Claus. And two 1985 issues of Atari Explorer, complete with programs to type in and a look at computer cartridges. Now let's move on to my video finds. I got all these DVDs, way more than usual. All three Chuck Norris Missing in Action movies, Swamp Thing, 50 episodes of the old 50s paranormal TV series One Step Beyond. Some sequels like Beverly Hills Cop 3, The Muppets Take Manhattan, Death Wish 5, The Face of Death, and a double feature of Mad Max, The Road Warrior, and Beyond Thunderdome. Plus the cult classics Freddy Got Fingered with Tom Green and Buffy the Vampire Slayer with Christy Swanson. The animated Looney Tunes Academy Award Collection and the anime Full Metal Alchemist Volume 2. A Jean-Claude Van Damme triple feature and a Time Forgot double feature plus the 1981 Hong Kong classic Kung Fu Zombie and the director's cut of Army of Darkness, disc only. One store had bags full of already recorded onto VHS tapes. I got 13 for $1. Some of them have stuff like Hee Haw, and many of the tapes include all the vintage commercials. This tape says it's the movie Moonstruck, but it's actually a recording of the 1997 MTV Video Awards. I also ended up with the obligatory tape of Katie's Party from 2002. Pretty good for a home video, I mean, check out these dissolves. Here's some tapes I got for about a quarter each. The foreign films Pandora's Box and Stay As You Are. Two sealed tapes, Phantom of the Rue Morgue and Robin and the Seven Hoods. An early CBS Fox release of Straw Dogs and a copy of A Bridge Too Far on Magnetic Video, the first company to ever release films on VHS tape. Here's some more tapes that I did not get at the thrift store. I got them at the flea market, 10 for a dollar. An original release of Ghostbusters, with the raised no ghost symbol on the cover. Clamshell releases of the Amityville Horror, Every Which Way But Loose, Little House on the Prairie, and The Fugitive. An MGM gatefold copy of The Aviator. Huey Lewis and the News video hits. The comedy Airplane 2, and the sci-fi film Split Second. Plus, she threw in this 11th tape, an 80s comedy called Blue Movies, for free. Let's move on from video to audio. Here's some albums that I got for 50 cents or less each a 1964 Captain Kangaroo record, and a Mr. Rogers King Friday the 13th record. This rhyme and reason children's record features the goon show's Spike Milligan, and these Mother Goose rhymes are read in part by Boris Karloff. This Bell Barth album is not for kids, it's for adults only. Also got the soundtracks from Zorba the Greek, and a whole bunch of MGM musicals. And I got the compilations Different Strokes and Certified Gold. This has songs by Blondie, Devo, Air Supply, Aretha Franklin, Pat Benatar, Prince, and Kiss, and it's on KTEL. I also got the I'm a Man 2 record set by Bo Diddley. Here's an album I paid a whole dollar for, Rose Petal Place, featuring the voice of Marie Osmond as a strawberry shortcake wannabe on Parker Brothers Music. I also got this 45 by Jefferson Starship, this flexi-disc record of Hawaiian melodies from paradise, and two 1980 releases on Charlie Brown Records, Snoopy Come Home, and It's a Mystery Charlie Brown. This 1961 for radio record of Gary Cooper doing commercials for the Savings and Loan Foundation is fantastic. Hello, this is Gary Cooper, speaking for the Savings and Loan Foundation. We'd be happy to have you join us for The Real West on television, March the 29th. 
the true story of the American West told in authentic photographs. See your local paper for time and station. The Real West, March the 29th. Be seeing you. I only got three CDs this month. Break Like the Wind by Spinal Tap, the 1992 Kiss album Revenge, and the 1970s Paul Stanley solo album. But I got all these cassette tapes for 10 cents each. Cameo Machismo, Midnight Star Headlines, Love and Rockets, Seventh Dream of Teenage Heaven, The Jesus and Mary Chain, Automatic, The English Beat, What is Beat, Madness, One Step Beyond, a two-tape set of Spike Jones classics, and two cassettes by the 90s indie band Gumball, cassette singles by Madonna and Saigon Kick, a really strange comp called Forever Pop Volume 1, and more tapes by Rush, The Rolling Stones, Dream Theater, and Metallica. And check this out. A tape from December of 1998 of Dan and Sean jamming on bass and keyboard. I hardly got any toys at all this month. Just a couple of bok choy boys and this Burger King Paper Jams keyboard. Oh, but I did get this 1977 Parker Brothers Gambler board game for a dollar. The object is to gamble your way to $1,000 in winnings. The playing pieces are all dollar signs. Let's finish up with miscellaneous. I got a three foot long Beatles poster. I also got this autograph poster by all the members of the band The Academy Is, who are no longer together. But I was really excited to find this little Daniel Johnston poster. I also got some more stickers, pens, magnets, and an eraser. These are some vintage Eureka Monument seals from 1967. A couple of old Care Bear stickers and this Sailor Moon decal. I'm really writing in style with this bling pen. And here's one with a Chihuahua head on it. I got a Togepi Pokemon magnet and someone's homemade Teddy Grahams magnet. Plus this cool orange dice eraser. I also got someone's handmade owl puppet. How's it going, man? Someone's drawing of the game room with a Legend of Zelda cabinet and whatever this is. Got a 1986 commemorative photo of the Challenger crew and a couple of French postcards, wee oui, wee. Oui. And I'm keeping track of the rest of this year with this handy 2016 My Little Pony calendar. I was surprised to find this Hello Kitty necklace hidden in with some other stuff that I bought. Driving down the street and I'm not driving reckless. Driving down the street with Hello Kitty necklace. I also got this bride-to-be sexy garter. I might wear that at my next concert. I can also use this clock to let people know when my next show is. What do you think of my new rainbow fantasy mustache? Don't answer that. I also got this Game FX face coloring system. I'm going to put my game face on. Even though I spent at least $11 on DVDs this month, I still got everything you saw in this video for about $27. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my May 2016 thrift store haul. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.